Um, Aqua for All and Via Water use Aqua RSR to visualize the projects that they fund, and they ask you to bring online your information in the system. Here you see the Aqua for All RSR portal, and as you can see, all the projects that they fund are being displayed here and on a map. Each project has its own mini searchable web page that tells you information about uh, project summary, about the implementation status, the partners that are involved, some background on the project and other information, and finances. Apart from this information, you can also place dynamic updates on your project to showcase what's happening and what progress you are ma making and what the highlights in your project are. Your Aqua RSR page is the first information that anyone will get about your project. So please make sure that it's well written and well formulated for an outside audience that's not per se aware of what type of work you're doing. We also ask you to bring online your project in RSR because it helps us to report your information in a transparent way to the public IATI registry. Once you've filled out your project page, please contact your Aqua for All or Via Water uh, project staff to make sure that they can check the information on your page and they can publish the information online. Once your project is accepted by Aqua for All or Via Water, you will get an invitation to use Aqua RSR. You will receive an email notification saying that you are invited to use Aqua RSR and you are being asked to activate your account by clicking on this link. Here you have to fill in your name and set your password and activate your account. You will now log in to your online environment uh, where you can enter your project information. So here I see already a project that is set up for me by Aqua for All or via Waterstaff uh, who have already filled in some basic fields. I just need to edit information that's still missing. I go to the edit button. The first thing I will see are different subsections, which all require the entering of information. Here I see a progress bar, which shows me how much information is still missing. For each subsection, I can see what are mandatory fields by looking at the fields with a red asterisk. The fields that are already filled in by your Aqua for All or Via Water staff uh, should be left untouched, uh, but empty fields you are required to fill in. In this case, a project photo is added, but sometimes uh, the Aqua for All or Via Water staff doesn't have a project picture yet, so then you have to upload a picture yourself. You can do it by choosing a file from your computer. In the Project Partners tab, the Aqua for All or Via Water staff has filled in all the partners that they know are working on your project. Sometimes, however, um, there are implementing partners that are not in this list yet. So. If you see any implementing partners missing, please add an organization by clicking on the Add Another Organization button and then search for a partner in the drop down menu by typing in the name. If the partner is already in our database, you will find it in a drop down menu. But if the partner is missing, you can add a new organization by clicking on Add New Organization. You have to fill in the name, the long name, organization type, and the latitude and the longitude, so we know where to locate the organization on the map. If you don't know the latitude and the longitude, you can click on this link, and there you can enter the location of the organization, and it will automatically generate the latitude and the longitude for you. Once you're done, you can click on Save. Now, if you want to enter uh, this organization into your partners, you have to first refresh the page and then the partner will appear in the drop down menu when you type in the name. Please, in the meantime, always remember to press on save uh, before you navigate away from the page, otherwise you will lose your changes. In the project description, uh, you see different fields that you have to fill in. Um, there are fields with a red star, but for Aquaferon via water, you have to fill in all the different project information sections in the section project descriptions. Sometimes you might need a little bit extra explanation of what is expected from you to be filled in here. Then you can click on an information button and it will tell you uh, a bit about what is expected in this field. If you want extra information on how to fill in these fields, 
there's also an Aqua RSR guideline available, which will be sent to you by the Aqua for All or via water staff. The same goes for the results and indicators section. If you need any help filling this in, there's an elaborate explanation in the RSR manual. Once all the project bars are green, you are ready to publish the project. Please ask your Aqua for All or via water contact person to check your information and then once they are confident with the result, they will publish your project and let you know that it's now online. If you want a preview of how, you, how your project will look like, you can always choose the view project page and it will give you a draft preview of how the project will look like when it is um, published and how outsiders will see your information displayed on the project. Once your project is published, you can start updating your project with uh, the highlights or the lessons learned from your project. Each partner has their own contractual obligations on how much to update uh, within the project period. So please check your contract with Aqua for All or via Water to see what is expected from you in terms of updating your project. If you want more guidance on how to create a good update, please watch the video tutorial on how to create a good update. Good luck with filling out your project page and if you need any additional support, you can always go to the RSR support portal, rsrsupport.acfo.org.